This might be the biggest show of my life in a way. This place is legendary. Everyone's played it. You actually get a bit protective of over here whenever people say, oh, but the weather's not very nice. I'm like, well, have you ever been to Port Rush in, in July? It can be very nice sometimes. Thanks, thanks so much for, uh, for coming to the show in New York. <laughs> You know what's great? Uh, just standing like backstage. I say backstage. I'm literally like, there's, there's nothing to that. That's just. I'm standing just on the other side of that cloth. Like, there's no other space. I was just, I'm just, I was just standing for like half an hour there, listening to people from home. I heard you go to someone like, you're like, do you miss the rain? And he's like, I miss the rain as well. And I, think, uh, I think the challenge is showing that unique perspective that we have in our part of the world but also making the material universal and relatable. Is this all here just because you know, Northern Ireland's biggest comedians in town? What? Oh, I just missed that. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> you would never get that from a PSNI officer. If we were filming out the window and I went, do we dance, mate? I'd literally be in McGabry that night. At home, all we do is uh, argue over whether we're Protestants or Catholics, but in reality, to come to New York, you realize that uh, Northern Irish Protestant is a lot similar to Northern Irish Catholic than we are to anybody else around the world. I don't know if Kevin Hart has to do this, but last night we realised there was too much sound coming through into the room from the bar upstairs. So I'm now buying a curtain. Also, I'm such a diva that the lighting in the venue didn't really show off my bone structure enough. So we're just here literally buying lamps. We'll all go out, okay? And, and we physically could, you know what I mean? We could literally just go to a bar together. <laughs> Like, it's not mad, like, we could, you know what I mean, people will say things like, if it's a big group, you don't need to split up. We could all just theoretically. I think what I don't miss about home is, and it, I think it's kind of dying out a little bit, but it is the small-mindedness sometimes. You feel like you don't want to do too well for yourself, or people might think that you think something of yourself, if you get me. I think it's changing, but that would probably be the thing that I don't miss. I don't know beyond that. We have an amazing stand-up scene at home, but it's small. There's not a lot of gigs. Whereas out here, it's it's all happening. Let's go crazy for Shane Todd! Yeah! Would you be able to bring it back home and meet my friend at the airport? Because he left this t-shirt at my house. It was at that point that I realized people had worked out it was cheaper to buy a ticket for my show. <laughs> I was a bit nervous, so like for the when I started doing stand up, I got used to get a really dry mouth, and uh, I had that, which was probably a sign that I was nervous, but uh, really, really enjoyed it. Felt comfortable, and uh, and yeah, very happy with it. I mean, I probably could have changed the order of some of the stuff, but I wouldn't know until I did it. And then the second show probably didn't go as good at Westside Comedy Club, but I think I was so buzzing from Caroline's that I, I didn't take my time to think, right, I'll go again here. I come from this old Hollywood back home. It's a small town of like 6,000 people. Uh, Rory McIlroy, the golfer, is from there. Jimmy Gordon, the actor. Uh, and it's just insane that that's three guys with a population of 6,000. Doing equally well for themselves, you know what I mean? Like when we get the three of us, when people, when people put it, they cost a big three, and it's, it's insane. Like we're equal, you're equally rich, equally doing well for ourselves, and also have time to be close personal friends, you know what I mean? But, um, uh, so I think one out of one out of two, but uh, I enjoyed it. It's St. Patrick's Day, everybody's getting drunk, so uh, the show's. All in all, thing went really well. So I'm obviously going to celebrate the only way I know how. Showbiz. Daddy's here to pick me up. <laughs> it's 
smooth. Camera shots, great reception. Good to be home. Long flight. Case is broke. I trucked over on the case. I'm already jet lagged. And I've got a gig tonight at home. But I had a brilliant time. I just got a wee taste of it though, you know what I mean? It's a bit like when your mum makes a cake and lets you have a wee bit of the icing, which is taking the cake away for other relatives and you don't get to have any of it. So I want to get back and I think there's some sort of American dream there and I want to explore it a wee bit more. So I don't know where I want to go next. Maybe I hit different parts of America. I need to figure that out, but I've got a real taste for it now. Did a show in Madison Square Garden. Oh, shit. Let it go.